It's strange how things end up. It's weird how they work out. A life that was spent in vain, now with purpose fulfilled. Luckily for me, I had a friend, an amazing friend, that helped me find hope, but not through joy, happiness, or kindness. His death was the only way to get me here. Why take for granted the things we should hold closest? This very day, I feel guilt. Guilt of being a horrible friend. So many times he tried to contact me. So many times I chose to ignore his call. Even the day it happened, he called. Being too busy was my sin. What could he possibly have wanted? It had been eight years since our college graduation and six years since I saw him last. The day of his and Anna's wedding. Why? Why like this? What could he have wanted? What did he have to say? My story is a little different from any you have ever heard before. You wouldn't believe me if I just told you. Seeing is believing. You've been warned. When his life ended, my story began. Daniel? Kara? Hey, how are you? I'm fine. You okay? I'm fine. I'm sorry I missed the service. Oh, it's okay. I tried to move things around and get here as soon as I could. I'm just glad that you came. My brother considered you one of his best friends. Your brother was a great guy. We went through all kinds of things together. I know. He was an awesome big brother, too. I'm really going to miss him. How are your parents taking it? Oh, they're fine. I mean, we know he's in a better place now. Yeah. Daniel, there's something I have to tell you. What's that? About two months ago, Greg and Anna, they bought a house here in town. You know, sort of spur of the moment. I guess some things never change. <laughs> yeah, definitely unpredictable. Well, you see, any time before they travel overseas, they'd drop a will, just in case. And well, this time... Well, what? They left everything to you. What? They left you their house, everything in it, their property, everything. Why would they do that? I mean, why me? I don't know, Daniel. But it's all yours. You really meant a lot to him. Thanks, Kara. At least it stopped raining. Greg and I met for the first time in ninth grade. I moved into town after my father got a job teaching biology at the local college. Greg was a part of the group that showed new students around the school. We hit it right off because of our love for photography, and we remained friends from that point forward. We graduated high school, were roommates in college, even graduated college together. We were inseparable. Greg was always the selfless kind of guy had a firm foundation of faith, and I was the opposite. I never knew what I believed, except what I could see with my own eyes. After college, he then met Anna, and it was his true love. 
They shared the same vision in life to serve others. They became missionaries shortly after they married. They would take teams of people into foreign countries and villages and build churches and establish ministries. He was right up his alley, and I knew he was happy doing that. I never got into religion that much when we were friends. We had an understanding that it was Greg's thing, not mine. After college, I moved off to Chicago to start my own photography business, doing weddings, senior pictures, and some freelance here and there. Now my business is one of the top sports photography companies in the U.S. It's a shame that we lost contact so abruptly. Hey Jess, it's me. How's everything at the office? Business as usual. Excellent. Oh, good news. We just picked up the Adidas account. You're kidding me. No, we just found out about 10 minutes ago. That's huge. That's like a, it's like an $8 million deal. Hey, are you coming home tonight? I can put the paperwork on your desk. Well, actually, is there, is there anything you can email me? Why, wow, won't you be here in the morning? Well, Actually, that's why I called. Uh, you think you could watch The Office for a couple of days? I think I'm, I'm going to hang out here for a while. Yeah, not a problem. Do I need to book your room somewhere? No, I'm okay. Are you staying with Greg's family? Uh, no. Actually, I'm staying in my house. Okay. Yeah. Greg and Anna left their house to me. The property, everything inside it, it, it it's kind of weird. Oh my gosh, what are you going to do with a house in Arkansas? <laughs> Honestly, I, I have no clue. I, I mean, I may end up selling it. I mean, it's, it's nice, but it's not even a year old. Well, you deserve some time off. Take as long as you want. <laughs> I, I hate to do that. I mean, I, I still feel bad about not keeping in touch with him. Don't worry about a thing. I can take care of the Adidas contract. I, I'll see you when you get back. Everything's going to be fine here at the office. Just take this time to relax and relive some old memories. All right. Please be careful, Daniel. I'll be praying for you and Greg's family, okay? Thanks, Jess. What would I do without you? All right. Bye. <sighs> I hated being here under these circumstances. It seems like Greg should be here, probably doing something goofy to make me laugh. He was always so stinking happy. <laughs> Where did you get all that joy, buddy? I could use some of that right now. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I needed some rest, but I couldn't shake the uneasy feeling. It was a rough night. Yeah, actually I crashed here at the house tonight. Good, good. Well, Mom, Dad, and I, we're going to go to St. Louis for a couple of days. You know, kind of clear our heads with everything going on. We should be back Saturday, though. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Actually, what I was calling to tell you about is Tony from the bank should be stopping by sometime tomorrow morning. 
you know, just tell you some details about the whole house thing and have you sign a few papers. What time? He didn't say. All right, all right. Well, you guys have a good time if you can. Are you doing okay? Yeah, it's just... It's just weird to see this, this whole other life that Greg had. I mean, from the looks of the pictures, he did some really great things. Well, you ought to know, Mr. Success. You've built quite a living yourself. Yeah, you're right. I'll be fine. Hey, did you call from your phone? No, um, it's Greg's. He left it at our house. You were the last person he called. Really? Well, if you need anything, just call, okay, Daniel? Bye. Yeah, sorry, I don't know what happened there. Hi, my name's Tony Anderson. I'm from First National Bank, and I'm here to get your signature on a few papers. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. C come on in. I have to admit, I thought maybe I was starting to lose it. I just had a strange feeling and couldn't shake it. I knew what this kid was saying was probably important, but I had other things on my mind. So, did you know Greg? Actually, yes, sir, I did. How well did you know him? I'd say pretty well. Um, you know, we were a sponsor for some of the last mission trips that he just went on, and we helped uh, build churches in Ecuador. And uh, I have to say, it was a life-changing experience. What do you mean? Well, you know, just seeing how much, you know, Greg cared about spreading the message of hope to everybody was just amazing. I mean, he really invested his entire life into this. But, I mean, you know, you should know all this. You guys were close, weren't you? Yeah, we were. Well, you know, he thought a lot of you. I mean, he talked about you guys' days in college all the time. Wow, I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, so where do you go to church up in Chicago? Yeah, uh, I, I don't. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just figured you did. No, no, it's, it's okay. That, that was really always Greg's thing. I mean, I was always envious of that, but anyway. Yeah, well, right now, all I need from you is uh, your signature right here and right here, and we'll be all set. Um, so are you going to keep the house? I'm not sure. I, actually, I'm, I'm still in shock as to why he left it to me. Well, I'm sure there's a reason. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Tony. I appreciate it. No problem, man. What does this stuff mean? It started getting more peculiar. I need to clear my head. I needed to go for a run.
together. Pull together. You gotta, you gotta deal with this, buddy. When I popped it in, I knew what it was. This was the last few moments of Greg's life before he got on that plane that ultimately went down. I didn't want to see it, but something or someone really wanted me to see it. We are going to India, getting ready to go catch our plane. This is our 10th mission trip, and we're taking a group of about 20 people to go build churches and spread God's word. Yeah, we're pretty excited. So why are you trying to go Well, you know, I don't know. He's been on my mind a lot lately. And uh, when we were young, he never really gave his heart to God. He always said, well, that's Greg's thing. So, uh... I don't know. I just put him on my heart, and uh, I've been trying to call him for the past few days, and he's just not answering. But uh, you know, I'd actually, I'd probably do anything if he would ever give his heart to God. I'd do anything for him to come to know God. I'd do anything. got it. This was a warning for me to change. And soon. I started reading more. Here. Here. And here. Whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is where Greg received his joy. And if he needed me to find it out this way, then I don't want to wait any longer. I need something more. This night was the best sleep I had ever had. I had to share with someone what happened. I'm starting to realize just by the way Greg lived his life, our time here is about giving, not receiving. Hey Jess, what's up? Hey, I gotta tell you about something that happened last night. 
Talk to me. Well, you know, I went into Greg's house and I started getting all these clues and these signs and I, I started seeing Greg's face everywhere and, and I met this guy from the bank who told me about how great Greg's life was and, and, and I started feeling all these feelings and all of a sudden I, I just, I, I gave my heart to Jesus and, and I asked him to forgive me and, and I feel great. That's great, Daniel. Well, now for the real reason I called. You know the Adidas contract, $8 million profit. I want it all to go to Greg's church. I mean, right now they're still setting up ministries in his honor. They're still planning mission trips in his honor. And I want it to all to go to his church. And I want it all to go now. Are you serious? Yes, every cent, I want it to go. Wow, I never thought in a million years you would do something so bold. But I'll go cut the check right now. Well, in all this, I think the crazy thing is, is that Greg was trying to warn me about something. Well, what was he warning you about? You know, I don't know what it is, but I know that whatever it is, I need God's help. I just need to pray that God will help me no matter what it is. Ah!